turn from our wicked way we touch God's tender spot and the record tells us that God rather than destroying Nineveh God didn't do it can I get a witness he didn't do it he spared them he showed them mercy can I get a witness tell somebody there were things that God was going to do to me but thank God he showed me mercy he touched he showed me mercy he spared my life now I'm closing I'm closing Jonah was still thinking that God was going to destroy him and the record tells us Jonah left Nineveh and went to the outskirts of Nineveh he didn't want to stay in Nineveh because he thought that destruction was going to fall on Nineveh so he went to the outskirts and found him the Bible said a comfortable place and sat down waiting on God to destroy the city and then when he saw that God spared the city Jonah got angry Jonah got mad Jonah said I didn't want to do this anyhow I didn't want to go and preach because I thought that you would probably give them another chance I thought that you would more than likely spare them and that's exactly what you did but then God spoke to Jonah and said how is it that you can have that opinion when I spared you when they threw you overboard I showed you mercy when you fell down into the depths of the sea I showed you mercy when you were in the belly of the fish three days and three nights how in the world could you be blessed with so much of my mercy and not want me to show mercy on the people of Nineveh can I get a witness but oh I've got to leave you here but oh the record tells us God spared Nineveh despite their wickedness God gave Nineveh another chance and all I'm trying to tell you is if he spared Nineveh and showed mercy to Nineveh don't you realize he will show mercy to me and you if he spared Nineveh and showed mercy to Nineveh don't you know that he's able to show mercy to me and you well I've got to leave you I've got to leave you but I just want to tell you I'm still here and it's not because I've been so holy I'm still here and it's not because I've been so righteous but I'm still here because the Lord spared me and showed me his mercy now I want to close by talking to spared folks I want to close by talking to somebody who the Lord has spared if you're one of them who could have been dead if you're one of them who could have been gone but you're still here out of all you've been through because the Lord spared you the Lord shifted the Lord didn't do it turn and shake somebody's hand and hold their hand and look them in the face and tell them I've had some close calls
tell him I could have been dead and go. I didn't deserve to be here right now. But the Lord spared me. He shifted in my favor. And he gave me another chance. He gave me another opportunity. He gave me another privilege. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Excuse me, but I feel like running when I think about the many times that he spared my life and showed me his mercy. to kill me. But he showed me mercy. He spared me.
somebody who can remember times that he spared you. Times that you had close calls that could have swept you away. But you're still here. September 17th. You're still here. Tell somebody, tell somebody, I can't help myself. Tell them I'm still here. Out of all the hell I've been through, out of all the close calls I've had, he showed me mercy. And I'm still here. Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. This is one of those things when I think about it. If it's an occasion where I'm driving and I go to thinking about all of the times that he spared me. That he showed me mercy. If it's one of those occasions when I'm driving, I have to pull off, pull over to the side because I... I'm not in shape to handle the stern wheel. Deacon Cohen, when I get happy. Amen. I have to pull off. And I have to go on and get my praise out. I have to go on. And get my shout out. Do you ever have a shout? That you got to get out. Can't hold it. Can't hold it. Just can't hold it. Just can't hold it. It's just like fire. We're going home, going home. I said we're 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 going home. But while I'm on my way home, I'm going to have to thank him all over again.
beside you. I know we're trying to go home. But tell them if you just knew what I'm feeling. If you just knew what I'm feeling deep down. Now may the grace of God. Oh God. And the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh. oh. And the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit. Rest, rule, and abide.